morning, everyone. This is Chris for the 365. This time I am at the Thermalito Four Bay. And this is a wonderful place if you want to take your kids and go swimming. I'm actually at the back side of it so I can show you from yesterday's cast that uh, where the diversion dam water goes. So right behind me is the canal that I took some pictures of yesterday. So you can see it right. That's actually the bridge that goes over Highway 70 right there. That's over that canal. And this water, it comes all the way back up this way. Let me see if I can get this camera turned around. There we go. It's going to get you into the sun a little bit. You know, I don't like to do that to you guys, but we'll so that. And so that water, it goes that way to what we then call the after bay and then goes out that after bay outlet into the Feather River. And they use that water to keep the uh, river levels at the right height and also to keep the uh, water temperatures at the right temperatures for the salmon. So I've got a lot to show you around this area, so I'll get you some bonus content for sure. We'll take a walk back up this way a little bit and show you around this area. Uh, while I'm at it, I can tell you that the lake level has steadily been declining as uh, per the DWR. It, right now it's at about 823 feet. Uh, and the, in, the input and output are basically the same. At, uh, they're still putting out 13,000 from the Hyatt power plant and it's still getting in about 11 to 12,000 cubic feet a second. So it's definitely been lowering down, which is great news for all of us. Um, also, while I'm walking over here a little ways, uh, I should tell you guys that on Friday, uh, that would be June the 2nd, they will be testing the emergency sirens at the dam. There is no cause for alarm for this. There's been a lot of people who have put this information out. I just want to make sure that you guys absolutely know that the sirens will be going off that is only a test and it is those sirens are made for the workers to get uh, to be informed if there's an incident at the dam so they can get out of there quick so just remember that so if on Friday you happen to be in the area around there where you can actually hear that then uh, you shouldn't be afraid there's no concern it's only a test they have said that many times so let's get you turned around a little bit here I'm up just a little bit farther so if you look right behind me, let me get myself out of the shot just so you guys can see a little better. So these are the mountains that are on the far side of Highway 70. This entire area is a water park essentially. So right up here, we have some docks. There's an aquatic center here. Right now, there, even as we speak, uh, the Butte County Sailing Club is talking over here and setting up their boats to go out. Very, very nice area. I've sailed my boat on here a couple times. It's for smaller, it's, it, there, you can't have an engine, and it's for smaller sailboats. Like, I wouldn't go over 20 feet or so on this, uh, on this body of water, but it's an absolutely beautiful location. Really nice, usually have the pretty good wind. It's kind of calm today, but I mean, you can't have everything every single day. I'm trying to get you guys out over to this dock so I can show you a little bit better view of this entire area. Right behind me here, you can see the boaters getting ready to go out on a nice sail today. It is hot out here today, for sure. Get you up here a little ways. So, but I'm walking out onto this dock here. There's no diving from the docks, just so you know. Even though when we were younger, maybe some of us might have dove off a dock or two. I mean, that's probably happened, but we're not supposed to do that now. Okay, finally, finally at the edge of this dock where I can show you. So if you look behind me here, that is the aquatic center. And they rent out kayaks and they have, if you can see right in front of there, there's paddle boats. Uh, we have geese out here, it's really nice. If I turn a little bit more right there, is a bridge that spans this body of water. Behind there is what is the main swimming area of the after bay. Very, very nice area to go. Slopes very gradually. Uh, in the after bay and the fore bay, I believe none of the water is really deeper than 26 feet, and I don't even think it's close to that in this area here. If any listener knows that information, please let me know. Put it in the comments down there, and I will I will definitely add that to the pool of knowledge that I've gathered. Uh, my office did a photo right over here on this bridge, so I know this area fairly well. And 
get you a little bit of a look around. They have great areas for barbecues out here, and it's, it is a wonderful place to come. You should definitely check it out. One of the gems of Oroville. Behind me here is the main swimming area for the Four Bay. And as you can see, it's got a controlled section with buoys. Right behind us is the beautiful Table Mountain. Wonderful place. All those areas, there's even a lifeguard tower out here that's manned during the high times in the summer. And all those structures you can see, each and every one of those, that's a place you could barbecue or do a party or any of that. Let me get you, let me get my mug out of here and get you a little bit of a look around here. Right now it's sounding mighty appealing. It's probably about 80, 90 degrees out here right now and I'm pretty hot. I'm thinking diving in that might be a real good thing. So that's what I have for you guys today. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you get out to the beautiful places that Oroville offers. This is all part of our Oroville Dam water project here. So every bit of this is from uh, the work that people did when they made the dam, the people who maintain it, and do all that stuff. So get out here and enjoy it. This is what, this is, there's a price for having a dam in the town. There's also some benefits. This is one of those places. This is definitely a benefit. So like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's Veritex C on YouTube. If you have any suggestions on where you'd like me to go next, like a listener today just said that they wanted to see the After Bay outlet, that will be done this weekend as time allows. I do not know uh, what day that will be, but you will get that video. Um, do some drone shots out there and just get a good view. Might come back and do a drone shot of this area too so you guys can see what exactly what it looks like from the air. So thank you for watching. As always, have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.